Hello true pars. I'm Cormac and today I'm going to show you how to fix the desync audio desync problem in Premiere Pro. Let's go. So here we have some footage from uh, Counter Strike that are not actually that long, but we'll take the longest one which is this and we'll pop it into Oh, that's going to take a while. It's 2 hours. Oh no, no. That that won't do. Let's choose another one. So, here we are. I've just put uh, a smaller file in uh, in the timeline. And um, the problem is that the sound gets uh, desynced. So, let's hear if we can hear it. Yeah, you can see there's no... The sound is all wrong. Yeah, so it's delayed. So the thing you have to do is one that is very important I've seen other tutorials of this uh, to do some research just to see if I had it right uh, that th There is no one that mentions this, but you need to have What's name QuickTime <laughs> QuickTime has to be installed on your computer for this fix to work So you can see what I've done actually so, I have copied, and I've placed it, let it continue, I have a fast computer, okay, doesn't take that long, and, here, change that, change, uh, change that to dot .mov, M-O-V, and just click outside, and you want to change it, yes. And that's the fix. Let's see where is it. Where did it go? There, there it is. Let's see if that works. No, no, no. I said let's see if that works. So I put it back in Premiere Pro and let's see. It even fixed the too fast thingy in the start there. So that's cool. It kind of revamped really fast in the other one. It was twice as fast as this. So yeah, you can see the sound is... ...working again. As it should. It's synced up. And it's all good. And this have... You can see the, the, the time is two minutes. So it's not just large files. Which I said in the start. <laughs> it's not just large files, it's every file sometimes if they are M mp3 no mp4 i'm sorry mp4 i have in the past i have said go for shadow play and now i'm really behind it because that was the only issue i had with shadow play i'm fuck fraps i'm fucking fraps the file sizes are huge astronomically and these are like you say say um let's go back find the largest one 33 gigabyte and this is how, how long two hours and 58 minutes you would have like 300 gigabytes uh, for uh, fraps so i if you have a gtx card 600 series or longer or you could f do a fix on it if you have an older one but i don't endorse that do that on your own accord google it but if you have a GTX 600 or up, use Shadowplay. That's the best one. If it doesn't work to change it to move, you have to go to your control panel. If you're on Windows 10, then click this and just search cone and just press enter because control panel. It works with Windows 8 to have that thingy. But then you have to go to the side and get the side option thing. But anyway, go to Appearance and Personalization. And then you go to File Explorer Options. And then you go to View. Go down to this. Hide extensions for known file types. You need to uncheck that and press OK. Or apply it and then OK. Doesn't matter. Well, that's how you fix the sync problem in Premiere Pro. 
like this video if you liked it and share it with a friend if he's using shadow play and he has this issue <laughs> i salute you troopers of the friendly rebellion and i'll see you in the next video bye Bars. I thought I would do some vlogging today just because I can <laughs> so this is my typical morning I am now editing, editing.